welded welded the uprights onto this part here the measurement from the end of the base up to the edge of that right there is the same on both ends and then I just put the square right across through the inner and got that thing squared up and then uh, the distance from the edge of this over to that is the same on both sides center line and then this right here is one of them there uh, it's one of them centering hole centering punches you know when you when you when you put it in that hole right there and then you punch that it, it'll make your hole be direct in the center it's a good little thing uh, everybody you, you should have some of them center punches anyway you put it in that hole right there and then struck the in with the hammer and you end up with a punch mark right there I've done already drilled them other two over there and I kind of forgot to uh, tell about it so I stopped and uh, kind of catch up a little bit so I'm gonna drill these holes and then I'm gonna weld these on here and we'll come back we we will we'll, we'll come back and uh, assemble this thing uh, we're going to use these uh, roller bearings. Oh, it's a good thing. We got the holes uh, already punched on there. Let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and drill. have drilled these over there in the milling machine but not everyone has a milling machine so every now and then you have to do something uh, you know the way that everybody else would could do it you know sometimes you just have to do it that way kind of remember where your roots started at Okay, we got them drilled. Let's get on to something else now. Oh, yes. Uh, do not. Uh, right now is a good time to do it, and I'm going to go ahead and do it. And what, what, what I'm going to do there is kind of countersink them drilled holes and get that burr off the top right there, and I'm just going to use that big old drill bit there and just kind of lightly tap each one of them. You know, to knock that burr off of there, just kind of clean up a little countersink, so to speak. And and and, and you know, all my, my, a lot of home shops, you know, that there, that right there in the backyard, uh, they don't have one of them there. Uh, you know, them camphering tools. You know, a lot of people don't have one of them. So if you want to to camphor that, just put you an oversized drill bit in the drill press there. And I've done did these, but I'll do it again there, so we'll have a show and tell. But the um, just the light touch, and that's another thing that you can get as you do these. You will get a feel on the handle as to how much pressure, how much it's cutting, and how sharp. This is an old worn out bit right here, so that it won't cut very much. And I advise you to have one also. And um, uh, but uh, just whatever size that you got, put it in there and get her done. Let's do that. What you would do is just a you would do them. to where that they are all 
have the equal amount of taper on them. These are a little much because I did them twice for the show and tell. But also, do not be neglect and and not do the underside also. I've done did those. They're good to go. Let's get over there on the workbench and uh, the next step. Get them, get them tight. The uh, and I did that just a fillet, fillet weld, butt weld on that plate right there on this. The next, uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, these are half inch. Just that was something that was in the junk box. Had two of them matching, so and I cut them off to the right length. So the next step, I'm going to go and the reasoning for this is is this right here. That's a quarter inch thick, two inches wide, uh, just flat steel plate, and uh, it 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 does have a little springiness to it. So and and in in order to, I'm going to put a brace right there on both sides, one on each side. It looks real good too. So I'm going to go out there weld this on here. And we'll come back, and uh, in a second, I'm going to weld these on here. Uh, I, actually, I, I have decided to put some feet on here, so let's uh, let's kind of wind this project up until assembly. <laughs> 